composition of the stethoscope has changed throughout the years. In the early 18th century, René Lenach invented the first stethoscope in 1819, and it was made of wood, cedar, or pine tubes that range in shape from cylinder to goblet or hourglass shape. The lengths range from 5.9 to 8.86 inches, and they used to be monaural. Stethoscopes of varying materials such as hard rubber or aluminum were common during the mid-19th century. Various materials have been utilized in the making of stethoscopes. In 1829, Nicholas Cummins utilized wood and lead. In 1841, Mark Hector Landuzzi utilized gum elastic tubes. In 1851, George Cameron perfected the 19th century stethoscope using ivory, ebony, coils of wire, rubber, and silk and cotton. In the 1890s, the first electronic stethoscopes were invented. In the 20th century, the bina binaural stethoscope was primarily used. In 1902, Albert Abrams invented a truly usable one, and with that came material advancements such as the use of new plastics, silicone rubber, brass, stainless steel, latex rubber, and epoxy fiberglass compound. In 1961, David Lippmann invented a stethoscope utilizing stainless steel and firm Tigon, which is what you see today. Silicone rubber typically is of use in two different parts of the stethoscope. For one, the flexible tubing connecting the earpiece to the chest piece is typically made of the rubber. The earpieces are also often covered in silicone rubber to promote more comfort for the wear. Silicone rubber can be found in many everyday products including mascara brushes, contact lenses, bakeware, sealing materials, and keypads. Silicone rubber is an elastomer composed of silicon, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. While in its original state it is a gel or a liquid, we most often see it in its solid, uncured state. There is a wide range of applications of silicone rubber in society and they mainly center around the role of protection against moisture, pollution, and heat and also involved in making products. The global silicones industry generates revenue of around $11 billion, 28% of which comes from silicone products in the Americas, which amounts to $3.1 billion. Silicone manufacturing and research and development is a major source of employment across the world, and globally, 29,000 people are employed under silicone product lines, and of which 10,000 people are employed in America. The industry is a highly innovative and competitive sector which continually invests in novel products. On average, 4.2% of the silicone-related turnover was invested in research and developmental activities. Silicones are sold to a huge number of downstream sectors, which include transportation, construction, electronics, energy, healthcare, industrial processes, personal care and consumer products, and special systems, which all of which make a lot of money. The commercial impact of silicone rubber involves transportation, electronics, healthcare, and personal care. This involves making car and emotive automotive components, aircraft and aviation components, semiconductors, automobile electronics, computers and LEDs, formulators and molders, device component manufacturers, and deodorants, hair care, and skin care. Silicone rubber is resistant to chemicals, solvents, fluids, and oil. This type of rubber is also water repellent, flame retardant, and resistant to extreme weather conditions. It is highly permeable when it comes to drugs and gases, and they are solids having indefinite molecular weight. 